Today is July 30th, 2013. You're watching Speed Run. We're going back to Rapture, you guys. Bioshock Infinite DLC. Irrational Games lifted the curtain on that season pass DLC for Bioshock Infinite, and we are in for it. The first bit, a round of new combat-oriented map-based challenges called Clash in the Clouds, is available today. The two-part story DLC, Burial at Sea, will take players back to the city under the waves during its glory days. Raptor circa 1958, before everything went to hell. In the first part, you'll play as Raptor's resident detective, Booker DeWitt, and in the second, you'll get to control the femme fatale-assized Elizabeth. These two pieces are not yet dated and will sell for $15 a piece outside of the season pass. Bioshock creator Ken Levine said, Buried at Sea is currently going into beta, so all of you who haven't beat Infinite yet, hurry up! Tired of waiting around in matchmaking lobbies until a game can be found? Well, now that it's next gen, you don't have to anymore. Microsoft has detailed the Xbox One Smart Match functionality in a recent post on the Xbox Wire. Thanks to the console's snap capability, players can multitask while waiting for a game, and the Xbox One will notify them when the matchmaking process is complete. Smart Match will also allow players to share detailed stats with Xbox Live and each other to allow for the best matchmaking possible. The days of being berated by 12-year-olds during Halo matches are finally over. Oh, who am I kidding? Though a college football game is still slated to launch next year, EA is hoping to resolve the ongoing legal dispute with the NCAA. The publisher filed a motion yesterday to dismiss the latest complaint in the antitrust lawsuit against EA. Current and former collegiate athletes have filed against the NCAA, EA, and the collegiate licensing company, and EA is hoping to take itself out of the lawsuit. By doing so, EA would shift the blame from themselves to the NCAA, as the company is contesting the legal sufficiency of the plaintiff's most recent complaint. This legal battle looks to be far from over. You may not immediately recognize the name, but Alex Seropian has left his mark on the video game industry multiple times, and he's hoping to do it again. Seropian, founder of Bungie Studios and former vice president of development for Disney Interactive, loves building companies out of nothing, only to sell them and repeat the process. This time, Seropian has started industrial toys because he believes tablets are the future of shooters, and he hopes his new game, Morningstar, will do for tablets what Halo did for console shooters. Assembling a top-tier team, Seropian is currently working on a comic book and tablet shooter in the Morningstar universe, in an ambitious plan to reinvent the shooter genre. Check out our feature for a look into Seropian's past and his hopes for the future of Morningstar. That's pretty exciting. I think I need a break. You guys will be okay for a few days, right? Have a good night.